Hello, my name is Tobias. I'm CEO of D-Swiss, the leading provider of high security digital walls. And I'm Stefan Odemet from UBS, uh, responsible for e-banking and mobile banking innovation. And we're here together because we jointly solved an important problem that concerns you all. How can your customers preserve their most important personal data while keeping full control and privacy and being able to access it from anywhere, anytime? Now, solving this problem is all about trust. And whom do you think your customers trust most? Many studies have shown that consumers trust their banks most when it comes to safeguarding personal assets. And that's exactly one of the reasons we are not only going to show a prototype today, but a live product, UBS Safe, that we have successfully launched in Switzerland about five months ago. So I'll get back to the strategic rationale behind UBS Safe in a second, but let me show you the customer perspective of the product first. Now, what you see here is the public web demo of the safe. Of course, there's an app for it too. But what is it? It's the combination of three customer benefits. First, in the personal space, I can upload my most important and sensitive personal data, like contracts and insurance policies, copies of ID documents, tax-related stuff, pretty much everything, even my wedding pictures. So you mean anything that shall last forever? Exactly. But you know, it's not just personal data. As the second main feature, UBS Safe is also our new default inbox for banking-related documents issued by the bank. So account statements, etc. all of these things are sent to the safe automatically and stored there encryptedly for as long as I want. Third, and finally, UBS Safe is a password manager. Now, not only does this feature take away the pain of memorizing passwords, UBS Safe also identifies weaknesses among my existing passwords and helps me generate better, more secure ones. Let me quickly recap. UBS Safe is the digital version of the safe deposit box. I can upload my most important personal data, passwords, and I also receive my electronic banking documents. All of this fully encrypted and securely stored on UBS servers based in Switzerland, accessible anytime and anywhere on the planet. That's pretty much it for the time being. But Stefan, I guess you get three pitches a day from fintechs. Why did you choose a safe as your lighthouse project? Well, you see, the strategic rationale behind UBS Safe was very simple. We want to make our customers even more happy and even more sticky with the bank. So imagine if our clients decide to store their most important personal data on our platform and trust that it will be safely stored in the safe in the long term. This gives them one more very strong reason never ever to leave the bank. No need to tell you guys how strategic and relevant this is, is in times of an increasingly open and highly competitive banking ecosystem. As a second rationale, there's efficiency in the game too. UBS Safe improves the usability of electronic banking documents and therewith supports our paperless initiatives. Last but not least, UBS Safe is about brand building. We have the clear ambition as UBS to be, and actually we are at the time of speaking being perceived as the leading provider of digital banking services in Switzerland. UBS Safe is part of that story. But make no mistake, UBS Safe is not primarily about branding, it's not primarily about efficiency. The main driver, as I said before, clearly is to make our clients happier and staying longer with the bank. Did that really work out for you? Well, it's early days. We launched a product about five months ago, but it's fair to say that this start has been very successful. Already today, we have more than 15% of our eligible clients using the product. And with using, I don't just mean receiving banking documents, I mean really uploading own data, using it as a password manager. Even more interestingly, the vast majority of these users use the product regularly, so our active users. In sum, this data clearly indicates to us that we first hit the relevant customer need, and more importantly, at the right point in time. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, we're happy about that. So, Toby, you see, we are delivering on bringing clients to this platform very rapidly. Will you deliver on enhancing the product roadmap with the same speed? Yeah, sure. We work day and night. So first, the obvious, we bring ever easier ways for your customers to bring documents into the safe, because then the safe gets more valuable. Second, we add ways for you customers to share with third parties like family or professionals. But there is one more thing for you today. 
we added search. Search? I thought we already have that one. Yes, yes, yes. We have search on file names, on folder names, on metadata that the bank provides. But now the customer can search inside the documents as well. You mean like Google type search on all the encrypted contents stored yeah. in my safe? But better. Because the challenge is in the safe, every document is encrypted with a known key. The search index is obviously also need to be doc uh, encrypted with a known key. So now we had to solve this problem and we went further. We added semantic support and dictionary support into the safe. Can I show you that for a second? Sure. So I go over and I put myself into the shoes of a customer. The customer has a safe full of data for, filled over many years. And now he wants to search for a document containing the word cost. So he types cost and he gets search documents, a long list of searched documents that contain the word cost or derivative of the word costs, like plural, or synonyms like the word expense. Nice. Yeah, it has one, one problem actually. You get a lot of documents like this into the search results. So we need to add a second innovation, which is these semantic search facets here. So these are automatically created search categories, dynamically added at the search time. So the customer can drill in, into this long list. So he can say, I want 2014. I only want to look into documents that affect the United Kingdom as a geographic location. I want to look into topics like hospital. And there he goes and finds the document that he needed. Sweet, really sweet. It looks like this perfectly enhances our value proposition of both secure and convenient long-term storage. Yeah, and, and talking about sweet, we have this super nice Swiss chocolates at our booth. So I would like to welcome you to come over to our, to our booth afterwards. So if you want to know more about the safe positioning or pricing or legal questions. Or if you want to know how DSwiss can ha help you building your own version of this safe.